In this diversity and social justice assignment, we are going to be examining uh, the differences between population groups uh, in terms of how affected they were by COVID-19. Specifically, we're gonna be looking at the weekly death number. And these values are weekly deaths per 100,000 population in the United States. So as we start out with this particular problem, let's see what it's asking us to do. We want to write an exponential function describing the increase of COVID deaths from June 2020 to January 2021. We're going to let N be the number of months since June 2020 and P be the weekly deaths per 100,000. Now, in this video, I'm going to walk through uh, the questions about the demographics between male and female and how those were impacted. I'll leave the... Uh, the breakdown by ethnicity up to you for your assignment. So as we start out here, uh, first of all, notice that it tells us that we want to write an exponential function. And if you recall, our general formula for an exponential function is P equals A times one plus R to the nth power. A is our starting value and R is our rate of change. Here, we've defined N to be the number of months since June 2020. So my A or starting value is going to be the number of deaths that was happening in June 2020. I'm going to start by working on the male equation here and the male data. Okay, so to write my equation, P is equal to my A or starting value for male in June 2020 is this number here, 1.33. And I'm going to multiply that times 1 plus r to the n. Now, n is our rate of change. And because we're dealing with an exponential function model, the rate of change is going to be a constant percentage increase. And so I'm not given a percentage anywhere in this problem. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to figure out what that rate of change is. The way that we find the rate of change here in the equation is we need to know a second value that works for this um, situation. I'm looking at the values between June 2020 and January 2021. So I know that in January 2021, the weekly deaths per 100,000 for males was 7.69. So that's equal to 1.33 times 1 plus my rate, which I still don't know. And N is going to be, remember here, N is defined as the number of months since June 2020. N is going to be however many months it was since June 2020 when the male's uh, death rate was at 7.69. So let's figure that out. If we're at June 2020, we would go to July, August, September, October, November, December, and January. We're going to be seven weeks or seven months later. So I'm going to put seven up here for n. All right. Now I have an equation with only one variable in it, so I should be able to solve it. I'm going to divide each side by 1.33. And I'm going to get a value. Now I'm going to pull out my Desmos calculator up here. Hopefully that'll show up okay. Good. And what I'm going to be working on here is I'm going to start out by doing 7.69 divided by 1.33. And I get 5.71829. I'm just going to write it shorthand here as 5.782 is equal to 1 plus r to the seventh power. Now, next thing I need to get rid of is the 7. The seven is an exponent, so to get rid of an exponent, we need to take a root. This is the seventh power, so I need to take the seventh root of each side. And it looks like that. Now, I can find the seventh root back here on Desmos. Remember, our exponent button was that a to the b right there, and our nth root button is that one right there, that second row in the middle. And when we push that, it's waiting for that little index blinky number on top. It's waiting for the seventh root. So put seven there. So it looks just like what we've got here. And then inside the value down here, I want to have 5.782, blah, 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 blah. Now, 
If you want to increase your accuracy, what you can do is just tell the calculator to use the last number answer that it got. That's that ANS button at the bottom. And notice it copied the last answer there, so we're able to keep all of the digits of the decimal. What that gives me now is 1.28489. And again, I'm going to write this. Uh, I'm going to shorten it up a little bit, and I'm going to round it, and let's just call it 1.285. And then the last thing I need to do... Oh. There we go. And then the last thing I need to do to get the R by itself is to subtract one from each side. And again, here on the calculator, as long as the answer that I want is over there, I can push that ANS button and I want to subtract one from there. And I end up with 0.2849. And this is my R value. If we want to think about this in terms of a rate of change, this means that the number of weekly deaths increased by 28.49% every month for males. So some pretty fast spread of disease going on at that point in time. Now that I know the R value, I can complete my equation estimate here. P is equal to A, my January or my June starting value, 1.33 times one plus my R value, and remember that's the decimal form of my percentage, to the nth power. So when you're asked to write or find a formula of an exponential function from June 2020 to June 2021 for males, this is it. And then we have this rate of increase. Okay, let's take a look at the female group next. We want to see, is the rate of change different depending on the gender? All right, so for the females, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling these two numbers here. In June 2020, it was 1.28 deaths per 100,000, and in January 2021, it was 6.07 deaths per 1,000. So when we write our start again with our female equation, Remember, our P is equal to A times 1 plus R to the N. We're still using that general formula. Here, let's slide down here. My A value is going to be the female uh, death rate in June of 2020, which is 1.28 times 1 plus R to the N. And again, I don't know the rate of change, um, but I do know a second point because I know that in January of 2021, the female death rate was 6.07. And I'm just getting that number off of my table up on the top. So 6.07 is equal to 1.28 times 1 plus R to the nth power. Well, the time from June 2020 to January 2021, I already figured out was seven months. So that's what I need my N value to be in my formula calculations here. All right, now I have another equation here and the problem set order that I'm going to do is the same thing as what I did up here. Divide by the number out front first. So I'm gonna divide by 1.28. Then I'm going to um, take the seventh root and then I'm gonna subtract one. So divide by 1.28. It gives me one plus r to the seventh. Then I'm gonna take the seventh root of my answer. All right, so pulling out the old calculator here. Um, 6.07 divided by 1.28 gives me 4.472. 4.74, excuse me. Then I want to take the seventh root of that. So root with the seven. And then inside, it's going to be 4.74. Actually, let's keep our accuracy level and just tell it to use the last answer. It can copy all that over for me. So that gives me 1.249 equals 1 plus r. That gets rid of the seventh power. And then the last thing I need to do is subtract one from each side. So I can take my last answer and minus one, and I get 0.249 for R. So 
subtracting 1. That's 2.249. And so this is going to be my rate of increase. So that gives me 24.9% increase every month in terms of the rate of, of deaths. And notice that the male group was uh, was more negatively impacted, right? They had a bigger impact in terms of how the number grew. We can write our general equation. Uh, P is equal to A, which for females in June 2020 was 1.28 times 1 plus R, which I just found. Excuse me, we can rewrite that. Make sure to use the decimal version of your number inside of your formula, so 0.249 to the nth power. This is my general equation, and this tells me specifically about the increase over that period of time. Okay, so coming back over here to our example, the, uh, the next thing that we want to find here is to write an exponential function describing the increase of COVID-19 deaths from January 2021 to July 2021. But this time, we want to um, let n be the number of months since January 2021, and we're going to be focusing exclusively on these last two columns for our numbers here, everything from January 2021 to July. One of the things we're going to need to know is how much time has gone by. That's going to be important for both of our equations. Um, and if we start at January, February, March, April, May, June, July, we'll see that there was only six months between these two data points. So that's going to be an important piece in our write-up here. Okay, so let's take our male equation then here. And we'll see that... Um, P is equal to 7.69 is the starting male value in 2021 times 1 plus R to the N. I know that I have another value in July of 2021 is 1.05. So that's going to be my P value. And my N value is 6 because we decided 6 months went by between the two columns. Okay, now I need to solve this equation. I'm going to start by dividing by uh, 7.69 on each side. So 1.05, oops, we need a zero in there, divided by the 7.69. So we're dividing on each side. Then we're going to have to take the sixth root this time of that number. So we're going to hit this. We want the sixth root of that last answer, and that gives me that 0.717. And then I want to subtract one from each side. Oops, let's go back up here. We want to take the answer and subtract one. There we go. Notice that what I got here is negative 0.282. That's my R value. So what on earth does this mean? Well, a negative. this means, uh, as in its percentage form, this means that we had negative 28.2% change over that six months. So if it's negative rate of change, that means it should be decreasing. And if you look at what our numbers are doing up here, they certainly are. We have 7.69 to 1.05. It's decreasing over that time. So I am expecting that negative rate when I do my solution here. My general equation then is P equals, my A value was 7.69 times 1 plus, my R value is that negative 0.282. You can write that instead of a plus, we can do minus 0.282 to the nth power. So this means every month the death rate is dropping by 28.2% for males. For females, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to be going back up to the January and July numbers. Uh, our starting value is going to be that 6.07. So we're going to be doing P equals A plus B. Oh, not B. A plus A. Try again. A. We're doing exponential. A times 1 plus R to the nth power. Okay, so we're looking at the female numbers this time. So in January 2021, it was 6.07. 
Six months later, in July of 2021, so we're going to put 6 in for n, my number had dropped all the way to 0.72. Because it's dropped, I'm expecting my R value to be negative. So keep that in mind as we do our calculations. First thing we want to do, we want to get the R by itself. We have to get rid of all three numbers here, and the order we get rid of them does matter. First, we get rid of the 6.07. Let's get a fresh take here. So we're going to start with 0.72. We're going to divide by the 6.07 to get that out of the way. Then, so now I have... 0.1186 equals 1 plus r to the sixth. Now I want to take the sixth root of that number, so we hit that nth root. I want it to be the sixth root and then move to the inside here. And I want it to be that last answer that I calculated so I don't have to retype it all and hit enter. This time I get 0 0.7009, so we'll just call that 7.01 is equal to one plus R. And then I can subtract one from each side. Oh, I'm doing the same thing again. Last answer, minus one. And that gives me negative 0.299. So if we're talking about the rate of change and we wanna talk about it in terms of a percentages, uh, our death rate for females was dropping at a rate of 29.9% per month over those six months. And our general equation would be P equals, my A value is 6.07 times one plus R, which is negative 0.299 to the nth power. And there's my general equation. Okay, so as we go through and, and look, the last part here asks us to see what we notice about the rates. Um, here, my male rates, and my female rates up here, we had a 28.49% increase that we calculated. Uh, for females, we noticed a 24.9% increase. So males were increasing faster in terms of death rate from the, um, from the virus. Um, here, males were decreasing by 28.2, but females were decreasing a little bit faster. When we figured out their rate of change, it was negative 29.9%. So they were decreasing a little bit faster. So grew a little bit slower, decreased a little bit faster. So it was definitely having, if we are talking in terms of demographics, it definitely had a much bigger effect on the males. The other thing that I think is super interesting here is between June and January, our values were increasing very quickly, but from January to July, they switched to, de to decreasing very quickly. Um, if you remember in late December of 2020, was when the first vaccine started to roll out. So here between June and January, we had vastly increasing numbers. Between January and July, we had vastly decreasing numbers and the vaccine may have had some impact on that. But that was an important event that happened at that same time. Okay, so with that, go ahead and uh, work on the breakdown by different ethnicities. You can follow these same steps to do these.